There are a few jobs that just don't seem like they fit modern times. Orator, blacksmith, what about shepherd? Not many stores stock staffs anymore, but the profession of shepherd is alive and well on Vancouver Island, just minus the sheep. Justine Hunter explains. It's about as far away from an office cubicle as you can get. Black bears for company, a grinding commute, and a seemingly impossible task, keeping a handful of wild rodents out of the jaws of predators. Meet Vancouver Island's marmot shepherds. It's just basically us being here, our human presence. Um, if we see a golden eagle, we'll fly off a bear banger. The, the flattery, the fences are put up for wolves because I guess that deters wolves. And um, just like at night we'll camp in the meadow too, or just on the edges of the meadow. So hopefully like if a cougar came, they'd smell us. Helping pull Vancouver Island marmots back from the brink of extinction. The mountain that you're looking at right now is a place called Green Mountain. There used to be about five or six reproductive colonies of marmots living on that mountain. Currently, we have about three animals left. Andrew Bryant's been working to save these creatures for a decade. Thanks to this kind of intervention and a captive breeding program, the numbers are finally turning around. It was almost too late. We almost lost them. And so these marmots were down, I think in 1998, we were down to 75 animals. We're up to, in total, in captivity and the wild, about 125. So we're a long ways from being out of the woods and we've got a lot of work ahead of us. But at least the trend for the first time in years and decades is positive. To be there at the time that you actually can say, I helped save this species. For the first time, a cautious optimism but still an uncertain future. This is a real icon for Canadian conservation. If we can't save this cute, cuddly, adorable animal, then what hope do we have for slugs and snails and fungus and insects? And we have to demonstrate, to, not only to, to Canadians, but to the world as a whole, that we have enough responsibility to be able to, to harvest the forests on this land and to mine it and to live here and still to retain our species. Clear cuts like this paved the way for the marmot's decline. Logging that isn't going to stop meaning it'll take many more years of intervention to ensure the marmot's survival. Justine Hunter, CBC News, near Nanaimo.